Hi, I'm Park Ulrich, the executive chef at Water Bar Restaurant here in San Francisco. Today we're going to make chimichurri sauce, which I think is a versatile sauce that can be used on meat, fish, and even a little bit of vegetables. You can use any kind of pepper you like. I like jalapenos because they're a little spicy, but not too spicy. We're just going to rough chop these to put them in the blender to help the blender out a little bit. If you really want to uh, take the heat out, you want to take the seeds out. That's where all the heat is in a pepper. You could also roast the peppers if you like uh, and just um, peel them, put them in the, in the blender. We're also going to use a little bit of uh, raw garlic. Just take your cloves, take them out of the skin, drop those in, a little bit of salt. Then we're going to take uh, the ma another main ingredient is cilantro in chimichurri. Chimichurri came about from the gauchos in Argentina where they could make a sauce as they're in the pasture uh, herding cattle and, and it would last for days because of uh, the acidity from it. So we're going to add some cilantro to it. And th those cowboys would, would, you know, eat and they'd, they'd use it as a condiment and that's what we use it here as at Water Bar. Uh, so for our acid acidity we're going to use some nice sherry vinegar. We're going to add that in, that'll help get the blender going. We're going to also use a little bit of water to get the blender uh, to go. Then as we, as we get the blender going, we're going to uh, start adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and we're going to finish with a little parsley that's going to give it a nice green flavor. So start out slow. I put the peppers and the garlic in first. That way it can macerate those, really chew them up without really bruising the cilantro. Now as I turn it up, we'll get to puree that cilantro. Start drizzling in the olive oil a little at a time. You want to work quickly here though because if the blender gets too hot, you're going to cook your herbs and your herbs will turn brown. So now we're going to add the parsley. That, again, I rough chop that and pour it out. It wants to be loose, not too thick, but nice and green. And here is, are the examples that Chimichurri shows its versatility uh, with the flavors that it can create. And I'm Park Ulrich, the executive chef here at Water Bar Restaurant. Come on down and say hello.